In the world of beer tubing, there are so many different worlds. Don't worry though, as I promise you, this episode is a sprucey banger. We're also featuring Rule of Twelfths. Before we get going today, I just wanted to announce that we've been nominated for the third year running for the Beer Best Beer Citizen of Beer Communicator of Beer Awards at the British Guild of Beer Writers Awards. I'm so chuffed to be nominated for this one again. Thank you all for supporting the channel. It really means a lot. I hope to go down to the awards on the 3rd of December. It's going to be a great night. It was when we went a few years back when we picked up the award. There it is. The other nominees across the categories are just a smorgasbord of our nation's finest beer writers and producers. It's great to see as well Johnny from the Craft Beer Channel and Brad as well from the Craft Beer Channel have kind of, they've just swept the floor in the other nomination categories. So I guess they get paid for what they do now. Fingers are massively crossed for, that's a weird phrase, for the awards on the third. Uh, Martin from Beer O'Clock Show picked up last year, the worthiest of winners. Uh, and yeah, we, we're up against some pretty uh, hot competition as well. So fingers crossed and keep an eye on their Twitter. I think it's Br Beer Ride, Beer Guild Riders Awards. <sighs> to see how we get on. Anyway, on with the show. Welcome to the show. Now I'm a big old fan of big old brewery Adnams based in Southwold in Suffolk. We've had them on the show before. I just love their beer. Mmm! Sessionable delights and interesting seasonal releases. Uh, they're a big brewery here in the UK. And no, big brewery in my heart. I love them. Mm -mm. I've even got one of their towels. Today on the show we've got three of their crafty collaborations with some of the best craft beer producers here in the UK and they're all super sessionable, interesting styles. It's going to be a delight. Let's see what we've got. First up, in a collaboration with Northern Monk, we've got a Sprucey Banger. Fantastic name. It's a 4.3% Spruced Pale Ale. Spruced Pale Ale? What? That's right, using spruce tips in beer has a long history dating back to the Vikings with recipes surviving from the 17th century and records of Captain Cook enjoying a jug or two on his voyages. Mmm, spiky. The spruce tips used in this pale ale were picked while young and fresh from the Holcombe Estate in North Norfolk, where Adams barley is grown. Collaboration even in the crops. Colin from Northern Monk and the Adams Brewery team have combined citrus lead hops, lemon drop, mandarina Bavaria, Chinook and Simcoe to accompany the lemony gentle pine notes mm, from those tips. Rule of Twelfths is a collaboration with Lost and Grounded. It's a 4.1% red rye ale. They wanted it to be a cross between a few different styles, which is pretty cool. Don't understand the name. They're blending the juicy fruit flavors of Australian hop Vic Secret with the standard New England IPA and applying it to a red ale, mild ale style malt base with the added spiciness of a rye. All the fantastic beery words. They describe it as a classic version of a modern style. What the fuck does that mean? And finally, so many different worlds. A 3.5% modern English pale ale. 3.5%! Mm, multiple. Adams wanted to see what their classic Southwold Bitter, one of their core and most famous beers, would be like if it was made from scratch today. They kept the basic structure, bitterness, ABV and house yeast, but they've played around with those hops and malts. They've chucked it full of first gold, centennial and New Zealand cascade, and they wanted it to act as a lens into other beer worlds that different sets of drinkers may occasionally overlook. By making a pale ale. Three awesome collaborations, I'm sure you'll agree, and three really cool stars. Let's get these three Adnams crafty collaborations into some glasses and see what they're like. Okay, we're gonna kick things off with the Sprucey Banger 4.3% spruced pale ale in collaboration with Northern Monk. No spruce tips in here. There we are in the glass. Slight haze on it, lovely golden color, decent head, one and a half fingers, let's give it a whiff. Oh yeah, crispy fresh, little bit piney. Oh actually yeah, a little bit, a little bit more piney than it was a minute ago. Kind of bready, quite yeasty. Uh, Jacob here, uh, link here. There he is. Did a great re review of the so many different worlds which we're going to get to. And he just, he summed up the Adnams essence, which is just, everything smells like yeast. Oh, it's gone on my nose. <laughs> I'm going to get a yeast infection. Yeah, a little bit of grapefruit, just crisp. Ah, let's, let's, let's dig into this one. It smells like it's gonna be a crispy fresh. Cheers. Oh yeah, okay. Mm. Oh yeah, oh, okay. Mm. Lovely bitterness, medium body, maybe a little bit too thin, but there's a nice kind of resinous quality to it. Doesn't instantly leave your mouth super clean. There's, there's an element of coating there. And you finish 
that when the bitterness fades, you've got a little bit of kind of fruit sourness that's probably coming through from that grapefruit. At the end of the day, it's super crispy, nice and chilled. 4.3%. Mm. I could have pint after pint of this. Not getting too much kind of pine or spruce, it's mainly on the aroma, but I think it's just adding to that crispy freshness. Okay, mm. I love a pint of that on a hot summer's day in Norfolk. I think South Wales in Suffolk definitely is. Okay, next up we've got the Rule of Twelfths collaboration with Lost and Grounded. This is their red rye ale, set of about a million styles in one. Australian hops meets New England IPA with red rye more bad. <coughs> So there we are in the glass, the Rule of Twelfths Red Rye Ale. Look at that lovely amber colour to it. Oh, that is completely clear, lovely off-white head as well. Kind of light brown, two fingers worth. Let's give it a smell. Oh yeah, burnt, bready, mmm, toffee caramel, herbal. Kind of fruity floral, but also burnt caramel, kind of toasty bready. I don't know if that's just that overwhelming yeast. Flying on through again. Cheers. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Mm. See how it tastes from my right hand compared with my left? Mm. Okay. Again, pretty thin body. Tastes a bit like kind of, I was going to say flat Ribena. Ribena's flat. Tastes a bit like weak Ribena, the like pre-bought one. Maybe Ribena light. Maybe Ribena. Oh my God. There's enough kind of toasty, toasty bread. Caramel, a little bit kind of grassy, hoppy as well. They balance quite nicely. I mean, it's not, it's, it's quite rich. But quite thin. It's an unusual sensation. There's a nice spice finish to it as well. Ah, oh, yeah, spicy, spicy finish. Mmm, that would be a lovely beer to have on Christmas Day. Mmm, celebrate, celebrate the time of the family. Have a delicious red rye beer. And finally, on our Adnams collaboration exploration, we've got so many different worlds. The collaboration with Cloudwater. This is an English pale ale. Ah, oh, yeah, it's a beautiful can. Super clear, one finger of white head, just nice kind of, just pure golden. Look at me through that. Now in surround vision. Let's give it a smell. Oh yeah, bread yeast, bready yeasty, multi straw. Oh, I'm in Suffolk. Oh. Cheers. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh my God. That has a nice bitterness to it. It's just bready, yeasty, little bit of citrus, but Mm. Not like the actual fruit. Just the most English thing ever, this one. Oh yeah. And at three and a half percent, I'd just, I'd be on that absolutely all day, every day. Oh yeah, that's what Adams do best. What a great uh, series of collaborations with some crafty brewers and nice stories behind them as well. Let me know if you've tried any of these and remember to uh, subscribe if you like what you saw. Follow us on Instagram, Pint Size Picks. That's all for this episode. Bye for now. See you next time.